what happens when different cans of soda are put into water. Here we have eight different types of soda, and we're going to put them into the water one by one. First is Sierra Mist, and when that's placed in the water, it sinks. The can of Pepsi sinks. The can of Diet Pepsi floats. The can of Diet 7 Up floats as well. Looks like the Coke Zero floats. Mountain Dew sinks. Coca Cola sinks. And last, the can of Sprite sinks to the bottom. This leads to our big question, why did some of the cans float and some of the cans sink? Was there a pattern? Let's take a look at their masses. Let's start with the ones that float, and then we're going to take the masses of those that sank, and we're going to see if there's any type of pattern going on. Alright, let's take a look at the table, and it looks like the cans of the Diet, the Diet 7-Up Coke Zero Diet Pepsi, they all float and they have a mass of 371.3 or less, and the ones that sank have a mass that's greater than that. Well, our next question is, what accounts for those different masses? Let's take a look at the labels and see if that tells us anything. If we look at the carbohydrates, the total carbohydrates and the sugar, the masses, you can see that basically they have zero grams of sugar. Well, they don't have any. They have artificial sweetener. Now let's take a look at the regular sodas, the non-diet ones, and look at their total carbohydrates and sugars. And it looks like they range in mass from the Sierra Mist's 37 grams of sugar, and the Sprite and the Coca-Cola have increasing sugar masses and then we'll go to the Coca-Cola, Pepsi, and Mountain Dew and again it's increasing mass of sugar all the way up to Mountain Dew which it looks like has a mass of 46 grams. Alright let's take a look at the table now. The diet colas and sodas they have not sugar but they have aspartame. Roughly about 0.2 grams of aspartame and so that is a very very low mass whereas the regular sodas have at least 37 grams of sugar and that's a lot more mass in that given space of the can. Since the regular sodas have more mass in their given volume that makes for a higher density in the regular sodas and the diet sodas have less density, they have less mass in that given volume. Now let's take a look at A&W Root Beer and Dr. Pepper and see if the same pattern holds true. Now these two cans have at least 40 grams of sugar, Dr. Pepper has 40 grams and A&W has 45 grams of sugar. And let's take a look at their overall masses, Dr. Pepper is 382.2 grams and A&W is 378.5 grams of mass. Alright, based on these observations, the next question is, will they sink or float? Let's take a look. Alright, let's throw these cans of soda into the tank and see what happens. Well, it looks like they both float. Wow, what's going on there? The overall masses and masses of sugar seem to fit the regular soda pattern. All the regular sodas sank, uh, but the Dr. Pepper and A&W float like the diet sodas did. What's going on there? How can this account for the different results? If you have an idea or know how this works, please let me know and respond to this video.